<laughs> Bullet holes in a quiet suburban school where pupils cowered for two hours after hearing more than a dozen shots being fired outside. In the street by the school gates and in the path leading up to the main door lay the bodies of the dead and wounded. The forensic investigation continued as parents collected their terrified children. Their testimony to officers, the killer had fired indiscriminately using two weapons before speeding off on a motorbike. Amongst the dead, one of the school's rabbis, Jonathan Sandler, and his two children, aged three and six. They had moved to France from Jerusalem last September. Also killed was the daughter of the school's head teacher, thought to be eight years of age. One mother told me what her teenage son witnessed. They saw the little children lying on the floor in their blood, and the father too was dead. And they saw the police, uh, people, the doctors trying to, to help the poor children who had been shot. But they were all dead. And what did your son do then? He just... Uh, cried and he counted his friends around him to be sure that his friends were okay. Nicolas Sarkozy visited the school, suspended his presidential campaign and this evening made a televised address to the nation. We don't know the motivations of this criminal. Of course, by attacking children and their children, Jews, the anti-Semitic motivation seems obvious. In the case of our soldiers, we know that two of them were Muslims and the third was West Indian. We don't know what the motives are. Even if one can think, one can imagine that racism and murderous folly are linked. He made it clear that the shootings being linked to two other incidents in Toulouse. In the last week, three French soldiers of North African and Caribbean descent have been shot dead by a man on a black scooter. Police say the same gun was used in each case. That one man or one group of people is behind all three attacks is now an inescapable conclusion, but the motive is harder to fathom. France has the largest number of Jewish and Muslim people as part of its population in Western Europe, and immigration and religious tolerance issues are a key battleground in this spring's elections. Whether a hate crime, terrorist attack or arbitrary series of killings, the pressure on the investigation team is intense. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Toulouse.